Hello guys, welcome back to the brand new video. Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a menu. So basically, a menu, you just do very, it's very easy. If you've followed, like, I taught you how to add buttons in my last video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm going to link it above. So basically, you just add buttons, and then you can just add actions here. So you just drag in the canvas with the, with the main menu script in there. And I'll show you the main menu script in case you guys are struggling. Here's the main menu. So for the play, I have this load scene dot get active scene plus one index. So basically, I'm just adding one to the index. If you guys don't know what the index is, it's this right here in build settings. The index is just the order of your scenes. So basically, whenever you play a spray, it will go here. This play again, it was for a node project, so I can actually get rid of that. Let's do that real quick. Um, play again two again was for a node project. So basically all I have right now in my main menu is just a quit and a play. So basically you just have that in there and then that will work perfectly if you have this organized. And then for my exit, it will just exit out of the game, obviously, <laughs> as an exit should. My play will go to the next scene and it works. And then for my main menu, it will... So the main, so do the menu bit to like take you to another menu. It's a bit different because you just do. I'll show you here. So you go this, then you drag in any sort of menu, then you go game object. That's it. Active. Then you can click that on or off, depending on what you want to do. And then as I'll, I'll play it for you, click there works perfectly. And then it just brings its next screen. Then here you can mute, which is the main part that I want to show you guys because I tried looking this up and it was actually really hard to find. So basically what I did is I created a audio listener and I just have this one audio listener that will go through my entire game listening for the audio. And what this single button does is it will add or destroy the audio listener. Now this doesn't stop the song from playing in the background obviously, but it stops you from being able to hear it. Which I think is kind of the result you're going for anyways. Because most, like, your game sound doesn't really matter that much, so. And, like, it will restart every time the player plays the game again anyways, so. If he wants to bring back the song, he just needs to go back to the menu click there. Or you can have it be, like, a drop-down menu type, type thing. Using this menu function that I showed you guys here. And just have it be at the top right of your screen, or top left. Probably the top right is better, but yeah, so you click here and then you go play it Works perfectly and then This audio manager uses that to listen out for the music And I'll show you the script real quick because again, it was hard to find so here. I have a don't destroy script Let's search that up. Don't destroy So here literally all it does is don't destroy dot this game object so it it will we won't destroy it, it will carry it through to all the scenes on load, so like it just carry them through. And then I have another one on my main menu called audio. This is that doesn't matter. Like I saw that public so I could see what, what was happening while I was writing the script. So we, we can actually take that out. So if guys want, you can just copy this down real quick. So I did game object dot listen. Um, int dot game up. Actually, I don't even need this here because I did it a different way. So just delete that and delete this too. So we're lowering the amount of scripts that we actually need here, and then delete that too. So basically, all we need is these what like seven, eight lines of script. So int. So basically, what I did is I did a instead of doing an if and getting the audio dot listen. If it's like valid or not, or if yeah, if it's if the boogle is true or false, I I just did a number, and I did it like my own way, because I I know at the start it's gonna be zero, so I just set it equal to zero here, and then because it you're most likely gonna have the the audio playing at the start anyways, and then if audio is equal to zero, it will destroy the audio listener, and then it'll just destroy that component, so it won't listen to the audio anymore. And then down here, it will set the num equal to 1. And then because num equal to 1, it won't access this script. 
So we'll go else and then we'll go here and then it will add it in again if you click on the button again. But yeah, that's basically it. Nice short video for you guys. Hopefully this will help you guys out on like muting all your audio like for every scene. Because again, I was seeing like 20, 30 minute videos for this one little thing. So maybe that is required, but I'm not going to sit through that, that big of a video. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this does help you out. And uh, have a nice day.